Exercise number three is going to be with the 2-3 rumba clave in the right hand, our left foot alternating quarter notes between the cha-cha-cha bell and the hi-hat, the bass drum playing the end of two, and the left hand playing the permutations both on the snare drum and orchestrated around the toms. When we're working on uh, multi-surface type practicing, I find that uh, one of the, the best ways to really make sure that our hands are totally lined up is to actually practice with both of our hands on one surface. This could be the snare drum, this could be a pad, uh, preferably something where we can really isolate the sound because when we're talking specifically about the snare drum as opposed to if we were going to use the ride cymbal or a bell, we're dealing with something that rings. And sometimes when we're dealing with something that rings, we not, might not be able to hear the actual flamming that's happening. If we can try both of our hands on the snare drum, for example, and make sure that our hands are, are, are completely in unison, this is a uh, this is a very important step in, um, in making sure that the groove is um, very consistent and to make sure that, you know, the, the only way that it's really going to reach the point of swinging is when everything is completely lined up. And, and once we have our hands lined up, go ahead and leave your hands on the snare drum and then as we add our feet, we can again do sort of a cross check between our limbs just to make sure that everything is lined up and everything is really grooving and, and very precise and in time.